hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i created this natural look on my model caro and i start my skin prep with alex stainer's pollution solution exfoliating pads these pads are brilliant they're very gentle on the skin and they're slotting away the upper layer of dead cells while making your skin softer and looking brighter i'm following the facial massage lines and also not forgetting about the neck Next, I'm following up with the Glow Toner from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is my favorite, but you guys already know this if you watch my videos. I love and use this toner a lot. I like it because it has the skin-loving ingredients and also reduces the appearance of pores. It is also infused with niacinamide, which refines the pores and supports barrier function that leaves the luminous glow on the skin. And you guys can see I'm also taking it down the neck and chest area. This look is going to be very natural and also very glowing. For this I'm using Limbo's Beauty Drops um, that are infused with uh, tiny shiny particles. If you guys watch my videos, you may have already seen me using this product. I like it a lot as it provides an extra moisture into the skin and also leaves um, a slight radiant layer over the skin that helps to boost the glow. To moisturize Caro's under eye area, I chose this Supermodel Eyes Eye Cream from the brand name Limbos. It is very light in texture and is perfect underneath any makeup. I like it because it also is infused with the vitamin B5 and squalene that is sourced from the olives. All of this helps to smooth under eye area. And for the cream, I chose Jones Road Light Moisture Cream. In this video, I'm going to be using the face primer. For this reason, I didn't want to overload the skin with extra thick, greasy layers. That's why I decided to use this light cream. It has a gel-like texture and you can see I'm applying it with a flat synthetic brush first, but then I'm switching onto the fingers just so I can push the product deeper into the skin so it doesn't leave a residue. I'm leaving it on the skin and I will move on to the lip balm. Like this, the cream will fully absorb for my next step, which is going to be the primer. And on the lips, I'm using my favorite lip balm from Lucas Popo. This one is Australian brand and you guys see me using it often. For the primer, I'm using Estee Lauder the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. This one is perfect for luminous glow. It overlays the skin, um, hides imperfections, leaves the surface really smooth and helps the further makeup to adhere and last longer. It actually designed to be used underneath makeup but also on top of the makeup if you wanted that extra glow. And for the foundation, I'm using my all-time favorite. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury and is called Light Wonder. This one is a wonder indeed. It's super reflective foundation. It overlays the skin very, very smoothly. And this one would be perfect for somebody with a very dry skin and also mature skin, as it doesn't sit in fine lines and blends into the skin really, really perfectly. As usual, I'm packing the skin with the brush and then I'm following it up with a wet beauty blender just to take the excess foundation off the skin and also push it further into the skin for this very natural um, seamless finish. You guys can see how reflective this foundation is and also how it looks like skin. Um, I am a big fan of natural uh, finishes on the skin. I don't like skin to look like it has a million layers and then it's powdered. So this foundation does exactly that. It's, it's just so beautiful and luminous and glowing. And uh, as you can see, I'm pushing it down the neck and the chest area too. At the moment of recording this video, I decided to choose Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury as I just received it and I was very excited to use it, but unfortunately it didn't sit quite right underneath the eye area. So if you see, I'm holding the Tarte Creaseless Concealer in my hands and I'm switching to it and actually that sat under the eye area much better than Charlotte Tilbury's concealer. And if you guys watch my monthly review videos, then you saw me talking about the Charlotte Tilbury's new concealer and you saw how disappointed I was. Okay, now on to contouring. So for that, I'm using the Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury, which is one of my favorite contouring wands. 
The product is very light in texture, it's very easy to blend into the skin and actually it blends into any foundation really really easy. So here you see me defining the cheekbones and look how natural it looks. I don't think you can overdo with this one and I find the easiest way of application is first dispense on the back of your hand and then gently blend with a blending brush. I'm also defining a little bit of the nose just for that slight shadowing and extra definition and also adding a little shadowing near the hairline just to tie the whole look together and create that um, 3D effect all over the face. For the blusher, I'm using the Face Theory Cream Blush in number one, and I'm gently tapping it um, in the area of the cheekbones right above the contouring that I just created. And I'm patting the product in with a Wet Beauty Blender for that seamless diffusion. The formula of this cream blusher is very nice and it is very easy to blend into the skin. Even if you blobbed a little bit too much, it's very easy to remove the excess with the Beauty Blender. Now we are moving on to the eyes and I'm using the Oyster Pearl Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a very beautiful creamy eyeshadow. You can see I'm applying it very generously and I'm taking the color up to the brow bone. The formula of these eyeshadows is very reflective and also very creamy. So my advice to the beginners would be to apply it in thin layers and also making sure that you push the the product right into the skin otherwise throughout the day with eyes moving and blinking this formula can actually move around and crease um, another tip from me would be if you wanted this eyeshadow to last longer is to use the eyeshadow primer I didn't use it in this video just because we were shooting few video looks that day so I didn't need this eyeshadow to last but if you're using this eyeshadow on yourself or perhaps on your clients I think a good idea would be to use an eyeshadow primer, something along the lines of NARS eyeshadow primer or also from Urban Decay. These are brilliant. For the mascara, I chose the waterproof mascara from Ilia Masca, just because these eyeshadows are quite creamy and also Caro's eyes a little bit more on a hooded side. I didn't want the mascara to run throughout the day. Caro's eyebrows are naturally very full and quite bushy, so I wanted to emphasize on this. And I'm using Got To Be Brow Gel that is very, very strong. And while I'm moving on to the next stage, the eyebrow gel is going to dry and then I'm going to fill them in. Next, I'm going to set my foundation with Florasis Peach Blossom Silk Powder. All of the Florasis products are very light in coverage and this powder is no exception. This one is perfect for setting light wonder foundation but still keeping the radiance and the luminous feel to the skin. As I said, this powder is super light in coverage and is perfect for dry skin. Next, I'm going to duplicate my contouring with a powder and I'm also using the Florasis product, which is called Eastern Beast Sculpting Palette. Sorry guys, as I was reading out the name, it uh, made me laugh. But the powder is amazing. It is also silky smooth and is very easy to blend into the skin. And for the blusher, I chose the Flor Floral Dew Care Cream to Powder Blush, also from Florasis. It is a very nice peachy color with a little a golden shimmer to it. So once it blends into the skin, it actually reflects the light and also acts as a highlighter. And to top up my glowing beauty, I am using Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm gently patting it on the highest points of the cheekbones with the synthetic blending brush. And then I also decided to add the residue of the product on the cupid's bow, the tip of the nose and the bridge of the nose for that extra 3D glow. Now that my brow gel is fully dried and my eyebrows are set in place, I'm then uh, filling them in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in color blonde. This color is so universal and it suits my light haired models so well. 
It is also perfect for the silver haired ladies. This color is literally a must have in any makeup artist kit. The formula of the product is long wearing and budge proof. So once it's on, it's on. And you guys know I love products that don't budge. Next, I'm defining the lips using Super Size Me uh, pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, these pencils are super long wearing and very pigmented. Once they go on the lip, they stay there all day and require a minimum touch up. Once I fill the lips with a Super Size Me pencil, I'm then moving on to another pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. And this one is the Pillow Talk Medium. And I'm following the lip line and only concentrating the color on the outer edges of the lips and also a little bit in the inner part of the mouth because I wanted the pout to be the main focus of this look. That's why I'm working in between two colors to add that extra definition and 3D finish to the lip. Once I was done with lip sculpting, I then also blended a little bit of Pat McGrath Labs lipstick in Peep Show. This lipstick is quite velvety and is a little lighter in color and I only concentrated it literally in between the two shades of um, Charlotte Tilbury's lip liners. And it wouldn't be me if I didn't highlight the body. Here I'm mixing the Nivea Nourishing Body Cream with Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator from NYX. I chose this illuminator as it's the palest illuminator in my kit and the Scaro is quite fair. This mixes so well with Nivea Body and doubles up as not only the body moisturizer but also the highlighter. And here is my natural glowing beauty look done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I'm in love with how this look turned out. It's so simple, it's quite natural, but yet so beautiful and so glowing. So thank you very much for sticking with me and I see you on my next video.